What's up guys, it's Mike. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to clean your air filter. It's a really easy job, should take you less than an hour to do, and it's easy for beginners. So let's head to the garage and I'll show you guys how to do it. All right, so let's get started. All you need is a few simple tools, a flathead screwdriver and an Allen wrench. Now that you have your tools ready, head over to your car and pop up on your hood. The intake's gonna be located on the passenger side of your vehicle. And towards the front, you'll see the intake air scoop. Use your flathead screwdriver and remove these two clips. Simply pull them off after you've loosened them. Set those aside for later use. Now, carefully wiggle the intake air scoop out of the way. That way you have access to the other screws at the air box. Over at the air box, there's gonna be four screws. You're gonna use your Allen key or your Allen wrench and remove these four screws. Also set these aside for later use. Remove the intake air box and now you'll see your filter located inside the box. Take your flathead screwdriver and remove the clamp located on the air filter itself. Place the clamp aside for later use. Now it's time to remove the air filter. Grab the air filter and pull it off. Since your air filter has been in your car for a while, it's going to be full of debris. Take your air filter and tap it on the ground gently and remove all the excess debris from the air filter. Your Cobb filter kit will come with two bottles, one air filter cleaner and another oil. Take the air filter cleaner and spray it all over the filter from the outside in. Make sure you spray the entire surface. Once you finish that process, you're going to let the air filter sit outside for about 15 to 20 minutes. Alright, so head back to your filter, take a water hose and spray it from the inside out. This will allow you to push all the debris from the filter out of it. Once you thoroughly clean the filter, you're going to let the filter air dry. Set it outside somewhere cool and let it dry. Alright, we're almost done. Now head back to the garage and grab the air filter oil and spray it all over the filter, making sure you cover most of the surface. Just be careful not to overspray it. One coat is just enough for the filter to perform correctly. Now double check your work and make sure everything's covered. Now if you happen to overspray the oil, just take a piece of cloth and wipe off the excess oil around the black portions of the filter. I also let my filter sit around for an additional 15 to 20 minutes before I installed it back into the vehicle. Once you're ready, head back to your car. This process, you're just going to repeat backwards. Take your filter and then install it back into the vehicle. Take the filter and place it back onto the intake. This might be a little bit difficult since it's oily, but take your time and it'll slip right back on. Take your clamp that you removed earlier and place it back onto the filter. Clamp it down with your flathead screwdriver and tighten it. Take your intake box cover, place it on top, and install the four screws you removed earlier. Once you've completed that step, head back to the intake scoop. Place those two clips back in the hole and push them down until you hear them click. And that's it guys, that's pretty much how you clean your intake air filter. Really simple job, under an hour to do, and also it's great for beginners. If you guys have any questions, please contact me at SmurfinWX on Instagram or just hit me up on YouTube. Subscribe guys, thanks, and I'll talk to you guys later.